Hey everybody, it's a glider cat and it's time to play. We're back in <laughs> we're back in Satisfactory. I almost said Evo Space because it's on my mind. This is uh the Satisfactory series is taking over. We're following Evo Space, which I had to end because I was having problems with the uh with the game crashing. It's kind of bummed. I really, really enjoy Evo Space. If you're not familiar with it, check it out. It's very cool. It's early access. I believe it's a single developer working on it. It's very cool. Anyway, that's not the topic of this Let's Play episode. We're playing Satisfactory. Let's see. Last episode, we set up a bunch of stuff. A bunch of uh, smelters, mining drills. We're off and running. We ran into some issues with our power network, just not being able to handle all these machines, even when fully fueled. Between episodes, I went and fetched a bunch of leaves. I've already filled these up once, so they are burning through pretty quick. But now, I think last towards the end of the last episode, we talked about uh, trying to complete the hub upgrade. So let's see what we got left. We've got plenty of concrete, plenty of wire, plates also were good, and then we just need the rods. So let's grab some of those. Hopefully I have some ingots on me. I do. Yeah, let's take this up quite a bit. Um... Let's see, I think it's gonna eat 100, right? Let's go, let's go 60 more so we get 160, just so we have some on hand. Almost there. Boy, this game is fun, hard to put down. Definitely hard to put down. All right, what'd I say, 160? Let's go a little longer. Boom, nice. Hub upgrade, here we come. Boom. Congratulations, you have unlocked Building Space Elevator Building Biomass Burner Heart Biomass Motivational Message Congratulations, you succeeded in every provided task On behalf of Fixit Incorporated, I thank you for your current and future service Additional Knowledge The Hub Terminal has been converted to give access to milestones there to ensure you progress along Fixit approved protocols Note, future developments should be aimed at constructing the space elevator and, as such, initiating project assembly. Good luck. Very cool. Do we have any hints or anything? It doesn't look like it. Very cool, and if you're not familiar with the game, we just got a kind of a spaceship that landed on top of our hub. And as we do the hub upgrades, this guy's going to go launch off into space. Looks pretty cool, actually. We'll see that in a bit. We have some new buildings that are important to us. Let's take a look and see what we got. We have... that all the stuff we had. Space elevator. It says requires deliveries of special project parts to complete phases of project assembly. Completing phases in the space elevator will unlock new tiers in the hub terminal. Okay, so it's just another thing we got to provide resources to. Wow, costs a lot to build. Look at this thing. 1,500 wire, 400 iron rods, 250 plates, and 500 concrete. So we'll get to that. Uh, what else? Power biomass burner. We need to put some of these down. These aren't too expensive. We do need some rods. We're going to have to keep making rods. We'll put some of these down here pretty soon. Logistics, nothing new. Organization, nothing new. Uh, biomass burner is kind of important. We saw that our network is already shorting out for lack of power. And then beyond that, if we can get um, an array of biomass burners going... And we won't have to refuel so much. And I did a bunch of this off, you know, off screen. I collected a bunch of leaves and flowers and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm just trying to scope out a good place for an array of biomass burners. We could come off of this. Let's see. I'm just kind of, like I said, just scoping out the area. There's not a lot we can do off the edge of this cliff, although we have belts and stuff that can go off the edge of the cliff. It's not a big deal. This isn't a bad area. We're not 
going to collect much leaves here. Um, I'm kind of thinking either off of this structure here, this big stone thing, and eventually we need to get up top of there and see what's on top of there. Uh, oh, there's a glow worm up there. I think that's pretty important for us. Maybe we should try and get that, actually, now that we see it. Hopefully you guys can see that guy up there. Slug, power slug, I think it's called. Let's go up there. Let's take the distraction and jump up there and see. In between episodes, I also had to fight off a couple of enemies, but I managed to get through unscathed, which I'm shocked. Absolutely shocked. So let's head up, see if we can get that power slug. Ooh, he's way up there. Maybe we won't be able to do this till we can actually build. Keep my eyes peeled here. Or any kind of enemy. Uh, there's one of those little bacon flowers. Let's grab that. It's got to be useful for something. That enemy is a little bit rougher. That guy right there throws fireballs. So we'll take damage from him once we go after him. I'm going to try to avoid it for now. Let's see if we can make our way to that power slug. He was over here, right? Ooh, or did I get lost? Yeah, over this way, up top of that thing. Oh, there's the little doggo thing. There's like a little dog creature. I think it's friendly. It runs away. But you can feed it, and it will provide you some resources. But there's a trick to it. Okay, we just, uh, we just caused some problems. Now we're going to have to fight. These guys are not fun. Wait, I don't know if they despawn either. Oh, man. Let's go get to someplace familiar at least okay i managed to knock one down Ooh, got him again let's get out here in the open did they despawn maybe they did uh, i did take damage there you can see i'm down a half a half a bar nope they're not despawned they're still kind of floating around here boom there's one there's two i think there's more for us to get i don't know if we can Harvest that guy once he spawns, or I go in and get him. Can I? Here's that. Can I get this now? Yeah, I can. There's one more of these little bees flying around here somewhere. There's the doggo. We don't have to worry about him. Yeah, I think there's one more flying around. We took a half a bar of damage. It's not a big deal. Let's continue on. We'll get to that guy when he comes at us, if he does. I want to see if I can get up on top of this hill up here. I'm clearing out the brush just so we can see. Is there a clever way to parkour up this thing? There probably is. There will be an easier way to get to this later. Hopefully I don't get glitched on here. All right. Looks like I'm glitched. Oh, am I, am I glitched? I had a feeling this was going to happen. I really did. Yeah, I'm glitched. You can kind of see. Trees. I have bad luck with trees. I was mentioning just a little while ago how in Evo space, um, it was glitching out on me and I had crashing issues and it had to do with trees. So here we go again. Let me reload a save and see what we can get. If we can uh, make this happen. Doop, doop, doop. One hour, 53 minutes. I guess we got to take that one. No. Load. Let's see what we get. Hopefully I didn't lose too much. I'm back. Let's see. Oh, it looks good. We got our hub upgrade there. So we're in decent shape. Yeah, we're just here where we were trying to climb up and get that uh, power slug. But we're not. There's some little creature here flying around. I'm not sure what you can do with those. I think they're harmless. We may have to wait till we can kind of build up to that. I'm not sure I've got a way of getting up there on my own uh, without parkouring it. 
I don't want to glitch into a tree again. So we're going to hold off on that. And get back to what we were going to do. Let's head back down here. I think I'll go around a little bit just so I don't take damage or risk taking damage. All right, so we talked about doing an array of power generators or biomass burners. Let's let's refill our biomass right now, the ones we've got. This is burning pretty quick. Oh, not too bad, 419. Not as bad as I thought. And let's look at our craft menu, see what it's gonna cost us for these guys. Oh yeah, I said I wanted a few more rods. A few more rods. Do I have wire over here or not? Don't. Or I do. Let's take that. Let's craft some more rods and then we're gonna do an array of um, these biomass burners. Let's take this up to 120. And then once we get the biomass burners down, then we can reconnect the machines that we disconnected and continue building our factory with more machines. Basically, the next thing we want to do is get constructors on the end of all of these, uh, all of these, um, smelters that we have. But we gotta have power first, otherwise it'll just bring down the, the network. I'm gonna come this way. Way over here at the edge. And let's put some of these guys down. Let's see if I can remember. Now, it's been a long time since I've used one of these. So I want it to, like, I think... These all have to be manually fed, too, if I'm not mistaken. With no belting in. I think I did them like this in the past. Leave room for power through the middle, maybe. Let's do four to get us started, and we'll drop some power poles down. Uh, let's do, yeah, power pole here. Hmm, I really want to do this. Let's I did mention I use a lot of power poles. All right, let's get these connected up and filled up with the stuff. You to you, you to you. We'll be adding more. All right, how about uh, flower petals for you? More flower petals for you. Leaves for you and, oh, oh, where am I? Yeah, leaves for you, this guy. All right, now we've got some extra power capacity. Let's go turn on the stuff we turned off. We got some of it over here, and then we can get to doing more constructors and actually uh, pretty getting some more products produced. I think we turned off back here, right? Um... It's only got three. I think I'm going to use this one. And this guy goes here. There's that. Let's pick up some ingots at least. 
We'll see if things uh, brown out here power wise. Everything's good. We're doing a lot of concrete production here. It's not super duper optimized, but it's working. At some point, I got to get rid of this limestone. This extra limestone I've got on, so I may shut this guy down or something. Let's see. I think there is a way to shut these down. Let's do it. Uh, stand by. Let's do that. And then uh, I want to get rid of the limestone I've got in my pocket. I suppose I could just trash it, right? It's all infinite resource. Is that right? Yeah, but yeah. Forget that. Let's just do... Let's put this guy back on. Boom. I can just get this out of my inventory. I've got tons of space, but... I don't need it. Boom, sort. It's fine. I'm gonna get rid of these carapaces. Like I said, I had to fight a couple... Couple bad guys, but it all worked out. That all looks pretty good. I got some wood in there too, right? Wood, yep. Yeah. Let's fill these biomass burners. And now they should all deplete a lot slower. And then we need to hook up over here is stuff that we unhooked. Let's get these going. Eventually we'll take these guys offline. Uh, I don't have anything else for this guy. I'm all out of copper ore. So once that guy's done smelting, we're done with that. If you have some iron ore to get rid of here, let's use that up. You can come pick up the plates. Ooh, I must've just done that recently. Yeah. All right, it's time for, well, let's see, is there another hub upgrade? Tier one, base building. Let's see what we got here. Base building gets us all the foundations. That makes things nice and easy to line up, better ramps. This will allow us to maybe uh, climb up and get those power slugs. Lookout tower is interesting. I haven't used it. I installed a mod specifically so that we could uh, get a bird's eye view of our factory, but we may try this and just see if it serves the same purpose. Logistics, this is the what we want. We want this pretty bad, actually. Let's select this milestone. Boom. And let's go get... Uh, let's go make some rods. If I've got ingots, I do. Boy, yeah, this takes a little time. Let's... Hmm. Yeah, we really want those... Um, Splitters and things. I'm going to take this up to 200 rods. I know it's not that fun to watch. It won't take too long. We've got plates automated. All right. Let's see. Plates. I know it's automated, but it's going to be slow. 32. We need, what, 150, so it's not too many more. Four more. We'll wait for that and we'll grab that upgrade, because that's a big one. Logistics. There we go. 150, let's do it. And then we'll get to see the rocket launch off here, or the spaceship. Alright, you and you. These guys can combine, and then you... We get a better looking button to hit. Let's hit it and then we'll go watch it take off if we can. Milestone reach. Hit this guy, there he goes. Can now merge, split, and lift to increase the complexity and efficiency of your factory. We encourage you to consider more verticality when it comes to factory logistics to streamline short range transportation. The productivity display will help you measure and improve the productivity of individual buildings to aid with optimization. Very, very cool. Yeah, no more hints, it looks like. But now we got splitters. So let's take a look and see what we got. Logistics. All right, we got a conveyor lift. Transports up to 60 resources per minute. Used to move resources between floors. We're going to have to go vertical. 
or we get to go vertical, I should say. All right. Conveyor merger merges up to three conveyor belts into one, and then splitter splits conveyor belts into three. Useful to move parts and resources from oversaturated conveyor belts. Okay, very nice. Let's see. What do we want to do? My memory is foggy on what I did in the past, but I believe we're going to split off of this, right? Let me grab some of these ingots for now. Keep these guys moving. We're still going to have to handcraft some stuff from time to time. Uh, yeah, usually split off here because we know this is 60 per minute and these are 30 per minute. So let's take our destructor guy. Let's see if we can get another um, smelter down. I might need to go craft some stuff to, to be able to build it. Smelter, we need... No, we're good. We can do it. Uh, I do want to leave some room so these guys can walk between that looks good and then let's do our splitter if we can we'll try that for the first time it's been a while I know there's really some advanced techniques for placing these things down I have to be patient with me as I uh, slowly get back up to speed and I'll learn the shortcuts down the road but it's, it is going to take some time. I, I've seen some people play, and wow, they can really jam. Uh, we won't be jamming real fast real soon. Sure, I'll take that. You into you. And you into... Will you do it? Yeah. Oh, no, no. Come on. Can't go there. Let's get out. Try that again. Might need to space these out a little more. Thought that would work. No, it doesn't like. Oh, I need. Uh, I need parts. Parts, parts. I need more plates. Again, yeah, we're gonna take up these smelters here pretty soon. In fact, I might be able to grab one of them now. This guy. I got more iron. I'll keep that guy going, but I don't have any more copper for this guy. So let's. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I could have him smelt some iron. Let's just take this guy up for now. I don't think we need him. So I'm going to take this guy up. Well, we get the resources back. Grab some iron plates. We need that for our belts. There's our rocket landing back, coming back home. Very cool. Milestone exchange concluded. Fix it freighter re-entry complete. Okay. You usually don't build things this close together, but it works. Okay, we need power. This is our main transmission line, kind of, in the area, so I don't want to connect machines directly to it if I don't have to. That's kind of how I do. I'm going to go ahead and put somebody right here. Let's see if I can get a cable there without it looking goofy. Uh, I'm happy with that. And now this guy can be used for machines. Now we got plenty of smelters. Grab some of this. I'm going to go check our biomass burners just to see how we're doing. Also, while I think of what I want to build. <laughs> uh, not bad. We only used 30. Let's top them off. Flowers on this side, looks like. And leaves on this side. Just double clicking to fill these guys up. All right. We do we have the biomass recipe? I thought we did. Uh, let's take a look. That is going to get us more mileage out of our material. I don't see it. Or is it just a handcrafting kind of thing? Oh, or is it in the constructor? Let's take a look at a constructor. I think we can start making biomass. 
and we will get more miles per gallon out of our uh, of our st stuff here. Let's look at the production, the recipes. There it is. Biomass out of leaves gets us. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is a little better. It says primarily uses fuel. Biomass burners and vehicles use it for power. Okay, we already read this. Biomass is much more energy efficient than raw biological matter. Okay, this takes, I think, leaves as input or wood. So we can still get rid of the flowers by hand or just feeding it in. Now, it makes sense to have this guy somewhere over here. And I may do it right... I'm not sure, actually, how many we're going to get. I'm going to put a constructor over here. If I, I think i got to go craft up the... Um, Reinforced plates. Let's go do that. I'm gonna stuck doing it by hand for a little bit But I want to get uh, That in a storage bin going so that I can just throw in all of my leaves and start producing biomass Let's see we need rods as usual Let's get this up to I don't know 130 Take a sip of tea while this is going. All right, let's do a little bit of screws. We're doing pretty good actually on screws, but I'm just gonna do this a little bit just to distribute the uh, tedious work, tip away at it in chunks. Let's go up to one, I don't know. We have a hundred rods, how about that? Uh, that's enough. How about reinforced iron plates? So let's do, if we can get four, that would be cool. How about six? That way we don't have to come back. Good. I'm going to come here and grab these plates. Now we're not, whoops, that's a wire. Let's grab the plates. This one I'm going to leave here and we're going to do whatever we want with it. So... We'll grab the wire. In fact, why don't we change the recipe here and get this guy working on something? How about the rods, right? We've been doing a lot of those by hand. Just feed that in. And then I want to come over here and do a constructor mainly for uh, the biomass stuff. Let's do it. In fact, we're going to want a storage thing first. Storage container first. Do I have that enough to make that? Where are you? Not logistics. Organization. Storage container. How are we doing here? That's uh, not too cramped in. That'll do. Then a constructor. It's going to be our biomass maker. Line this up nice. Uh, as best we can. I guess we're a little too close, but that will do. Belt. Let's connect these up. Let's set the recipe here to biomass based on leaves. Okay, and I can send in some leaves. In fact, that was all my leaves. And then we're going to get it power through here. Oh, I want to do that. How about... Oh, I want to do that. Power. Um, I'm going to come out to the network. Let's see. Show you what I mean. Again, I do a lot of power poles. Two. Two. You over this way. We're going to come straight back. Something like that. And now you are free to connect there. Off this guy goes, and I guess we could put another container down. And I think that'll be it. Organization, storage container. Will this fit? 
These machines are so big, or I guess they call them buildings in the game. I noticed that. All right. A little sloppy, but it'll do. Belt this guy. Boom. All right, there's our biomass. I think that can get processed even further, but we don't have the recipe yet. So that'll help a little bit. We'll get a little more mileage out of the leaves at least. And we get some leaves. You can see like right above the hop bar, it's showing a tally of what I'm actually picking up. Got more stuff over here. All right, how are we doing for time? We're doing pretty good. Let's get some more constructors. Did I make more? I did. More reinforced plates. Let's start making some of the iron stuff that we're interested in. Uh, this guy is going to kick out... Oh, I didn't pick a recipe. That wasn't too swift. 30 per minute. Iron ingots. Uh, let's plop down a constructor. get the little line to show up. I thought I saw it. There it is. Let's get out of that. Let's see. We've got rod screws are two stages, right? So what does this guy take? Does it show the time? Six seconds. Um, hmm. Do I got to click in to see what it's going to do? Yeah. 15 per minute. Iron ingots, so that's a uh, two to one here. That's 15. Uh, let's see, iron plates are 30. Of course. And this guy is 30, right? 30. Let's do iron plates here. It's an easy, kind of an easy one. As far as ratios go, it's easy, right? Iron plates. We gotta power this guy up. That's kind of our transmission line. So I don't like, I don't usually connect straight to machines. Let's, uh, this one I can branch off of though. To you, how about to here? You there. And I could throw a storage box off the side of this thing, but I think I'm going to keep it just, uh, just use his inventory there. Okay. Now we've got, uh, we got to think of what we want to do next. Grab some of this stuff while it's opportunistically right in front of me. This one, I'm remembering screws are kind of a pain. Let's look at the recipe again. Screws take iron rods. I can get twice the iron rods. I can have two constructors doing iron rods off of a single smelter, I believe, right? How do we want to do it? Let's... Let's see. Can I build another one? Structure. Looks like I got enough. I need to leave room this time because we're going to, uh, we're going to need to run a splitter. Yeah, it's not going to be perfectly lined up, but it'll be okay. I mean, it'll work. All right, that is that. Um, one, two, three. That, I guess I can run the power pole. I hate to do this because we're going to max out the connections. But eventually we'll get upgraded power poles, I think. Splitter here, if I can build it. Splitter, splitter. Which 
statistics, bear splitter, and you can be pretty close to this, I think. This way, and yeah, maybe. If that'll connect up. I usually leave a lot of space, but not this time. Uh, belt. Let's set that to rods. He's got power. We powered it up. There's rods. Now we can do another one of rods. And then one of these we will send on to doing screws. Let's take a look though. Let's, uh, we need more, um, we need more of me finishing my sentences. Let's grab some of these rods. And what do we got going over here? Is this pretty much dead? Yeah, he wants ingots. And get rid of the rest of the ore. Let's see if I can build some more reinforced plates. Looks like I can. Oh, we're just a little bit short. Do we have plates? We set plates up here, right? The first one is plates. Ooh. Here we go. Uh, why don't we take two more if we can do it? And let's take a look at the hub upgrade too. Uh, logistics is good. Foundations are going to be good also. What else we got? Field research. The MAM, the molecular analysis machine is used to analyze new and exotic materials found on alien planets. R&D will assist pioneers through the MAM to turn away any valuable data into usable research options and new technologies. So yeah, this is where we research things. That's pretty useful. Object scanner, what does this guy do? Scans the area for a set item. Beeps at a rate proportional to the proximity at all direction. I've never used that before. Beacon... Used to mark areas of interest. That looks useful. Personal storage box. We're okay. We've got the huge inventory. Hand slot. Upgrades a tool belt with an extra hand equipment slot. Providing easier access to multiple tools and weapons. Uh, at some point, we're going to get a shortcut to switch to uh, the items in our inventory. Or in our hands. And then more inventory slots. Three more. We're good there. Micro manager. Okay, micromanage all the things. This is one of the uh, mods, so we need to unlock that. Uh, that one I don't need right now. Field research seems pretty interesting. The MAM is useful to us, and then maybe base building. Let's do field research. Boom. And now I'm thinking, do we want to go get... Uh, Copper wire, at least, automated? I think we do. In fact, what I think I want to do is do copper wire and cable way over by our copper mine down here. We can just use a splitter to do it. Um, we... Do we have what we need? I think we might. We could use more plates, and we could actually use a little cable, but we're okay. I'm going to grab some stuff. I'm just going to harvest here. More plates. We'll grab the rods. And I'll actually grab... Uh, maybe I don't need ingots. Let's not use those. Let's get a head over to our copper mine and see if we can't beef up the uh, automation over there. And at least get a supply of wires going and a supply of cables. It's down this way. Look for some leaves. There's a little bit we can pick up here along the way. Not much. All right. There's our smelter. Ideally, we would branch two off of this guy, I think. Right? This guy's kicking out. Oh, 30 per minute on the copper. But we can have another one off of this guy, right? We should do that. We should split. Boy, it's a little tight in here. 
Let's pop down another smelter. It's a little messy. But we'll make it work. I like it there. And let's split this. Uh, can I put a splitter on? I'm not sure if I can just slap one on in the middle of something that's already existing. I don't think you can, although I may have a mod that can do it. It looks like it's friendly. Let's try it. All right, we got a little clipping. I don't think it's going to be a problem. It looks goofy, but pretty sure there's no terraforming here. And so we will just look the other way for now. I think there's a way to prompt that up if we really wanted to later, but I'm not going to worry about it. Let's copper ingotize that. And we need more power poles. Let's plunk one down. Here. And then connect that guy up. And then we got double copper. And now these guys need to come into constructors. They put out 30 per. Let's pop down a constructor. It's going to be a little goofy. But later on, we'll use foundations and we'll start building vertical. But early on here, we're going to kind of. Our first few uh, ore deposits, we're going to do kind of hodgepodge like this. Let's grab a constructor and how about that is fine to me. Let's look at the recipe. Wire takes what? 15 per minute. So I can get, yeah, I can get two things of wire off of this line. Let's do that. Let's split. Uh, let's do it after we put the belt down. That might be actually easier. Belt. Let's see if we can get that splitter on there. Splitter. I like it. Uh, will you take it? Right There-ish. There's one little spot where it looks like it likes it. Oh, come on. It was clipping on a second ago. There. Oh, yeah, I just got a mouse up near the belt. It's not that hard. All right, boom. Simple mouse placement issue there. Power. And I'm going to run extra power poles. You over to you. And then you to the machine. And then we got one more coming here. May run these into storage. I'm not sure. There's going to be no way to get that other belt out of there. Maybe we should uh, <clears throat> not have this be such a choke point. And I could put it back a ways. Eventually, we can cut down these trees. It's just really crowded. I guess there's some room to wiggle around. Um, yeah, we can always move it. Let's pop it here. Boom. That's good enough. Belt. Boom. Okay, this guy is also going to be... Oops, hello. Wire. Man, that's tight. But I think once I cut this down, I can get a belt through here. And now the question is... What do we want to do with this? Do we want to just use this inventory or do we want to put this in a big old um, 
storage box, so it just keeps on running. This one, I know what we want to do. We want to take this and turn it into cable. That means another constructor. But tell you what, I think we're going to wrap this episode here. Very cool. We are making progress. I think we unlocked another objective, right? We got our splitters. We got a bunch of stuff automated. We put down biomass burners. We got several of those going. So we haven't had any power outages. Again, between episodes, I'll try and remember to fill these guys up. We're going to have to switch to a different material over here. I'm going to steal his leaves and give him flower petals. And I'll put the leaves over here. We've got wood that burns. Oh, yeah, let me take all those leaves. Sorry, buddy. Uh, you get flower petals. We're moving to using the biomass, right? We'll get more mileage out of those leaves. Flower petals, I don't think I can turn into biomass. At least not yet. I don't know if there's a recipe for that or not. But we can probably put it in actually directly in here. Leaves. There you go. Let's take this out. Here's some biomass. And these are our leaf guys. Let's take out these leaves. There's not many to speak of. Uh, just throw biomass in there. This guy, uh, same thing. Let's throw that in there. <laughs> it's not, it's not enough. It's very much not enough. But yeah, maybe between episodes, I can remember to, uh, grab some more of this leaves and make some more biomass and fill up our biomass burners. We should be okay. We've got six. Um, but yeah, we made a lot of progress. We're, we're doing pretty good. I think, I feel like we're making good progress. Awesome. For now, this is GliderCat signing off saying thanks so much for watching. Enjoy having you here with me on Satisfactory. Been waiting to play this game for a really, really long time. At least six, seven months, if not longer than that. But well, like I said earlier, you know, when I started the YouTube channel, this was going to be the game. I mean, I was going to focus on this pretty heavily. Tutorials and mod reviews, all kinds of stuff. But I took the channel in a different direction, but I still want to play this game like crazy. And we're finally doing it. So that is cool. If you enjoy this content, please consider giving it a thumbs up. That helps my tiny channel grow. And I'd really, really appreciate that. It's a big deal. So thanks in advance if you choose to do that. And until next time, uh, take care. And I'll see you in the next episode.